We've been a very progressive EMS system since our existence began in 1974. Our bottom line has always been, look at new technologies, see, most important, how they improve patient care. The so Lucas, for us, did that. It took away the emotions of doing CPR. My name is Nancy Olson. I'm an artist. I live in North Idaho, out in the woods. We live very rural with a capital R. And I left this destination where I live and to go to Bellingham was for a carving class. And in the middle of the night, I woke up and I felt really bad. We received the call, I believe it was for chest pain or shortness of breath, and we got in there. You could tell that she was sick. Dave turned to me and said, she's really sick. I looked at her on the bed and she was in seizure. We put her on the floor and started CPR. It was at that point that all the gears started to kick a little bit faster. You don't very often see people get sick that fast in front of you. When I'm sitting there on the air conditioner at the hotel going, my God, she can't possibly make it through this. I've never seen anyone live through that kind of CPR or not have problems afterwards. We ended up getting a pulse back and with that pulse, then a perfusing blood pressure. So as we're getting ready to move the patient to the gurney, we elected to put the Lucas device in place. And we just felt that if, for example, the patient's conditions were to deteriorate in route to the hospital, it would be to our advantage and obviously to the patient's advantage to have the Lucas device in place. We had to get the gurney up into the stairs, into the hall, get her on a backboard, lift her up, and then get her out of there while one person's maintaining airway. That it was enough perfusion to keep her going. Started treating her drugs. She was having some different ventricular arrhythmias. And actually, by the time she had gotten to the hospital with Lucas and with the institution of the drug therapies being intubated, she was at least had a blood pressure and pulse. The whole key of CPR is perfusion and Lucas guarantees us perfusion in a regulated way and allows us to honestly make it simpler and easier for people during profound cardiovascular events. The Lucas device has brought a calmness to a very chaotic setting. It frees up people to do other things that are critical to the patient's care. It went on easy and smooth and it definitely made our transition from the room to the ambulance and from the ambulance to the ER a lot easier. Within 30 seconds, you could apply the Lucas device with some prior experience, but it is absolutely amazing. You push the button and the chest compressions are ongoing as you move the patient from the room into the back of the ambulance. I mean, imagine trying to do compressions going down a set of stairs. It just, it can't happen where it can with this device on. It actually makes my job easier and it's better for the patient. My bet is you'll probably see three to five lives saved that otherwise wouldn't have made it. We probably will have better neurologic recoveries in probably another five or 10 patients, which if you do analysis at a big level, doesn't seem like a whole lot unless you're one of those people. I have had three resuscitations, and of those three resuscitations, three of those people have left the hospital. I think you'll see it more and more widely adopted by the EMS systems. I would like the Lucas device on every one of our medic units. That's my goal, to put it on every one of our medic units. The bottom line, better patient care, better opportunity for EMS to provide that patient care, and hopefully, in the long term, better outcomes. When we left, I wasn't sure how it was all going to shake out. I've been doing this for almost 17 years, and it was the first time I went and visited somebody in the hospital. And actually, it made me start crying because I was so grateful when I finally understood that I had died multiple times. I was so happy to, not just to be alive, but there was a person who saved my life, and I'd like to say thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If I'd had that heart attack standing out here in my field, in this meadow, I would have died. So I tell people on April 10th I died, and I would have stayed dead had it not been for that Lucas machine. It's quite clear to me that besides the fact that Buzz and her people were there, and the surgeons who put in the stent and all the nursing and all of those people, cool people, this machine not just saved my life, but saved my quality of life. The Lucas machine 
was able to do compressions in the specific rhythm that I required at the specific place that was needed and kept blood flowing through my body and particularly my brain. I feel it and I'm stronger every day and I'm well on my way back to driving my ATV and especially my tractor and being out in the woods and fishing and all that stuff that I like doing, especially my art and carving because I still have a totem pole I want to make. Good job, Lucas. <laughs>